hello everyone as you may notice i didn't change i'm just chaining those videos i'm gonna do the belgian one right after I, i'm doing the belgian one right after the melbourne one because i need to do my videos and my talking during the night otherwise there's too much noise and then yeah i'm just it's a bit anyways so uh belgium uh and i have uh invaders in four places in Belgium because I think there's only four places in Belgium Brussels, Charleroi, Anvers, so Antwerpen and Redu um, I'm gonna start talking about Charleroi Charleroi there's only one uh, to get um, out of it's it's one of the biggest one that I've seen so far. It might be one of the biggest invaders that I know of. Uh, it's on the side of a pretty massive building. It has been covered at some point by either other art or publicity. I don't know what state it is in right now, but you can do 200 points pretty easily. Uh, you just have to find it. Uh, to give you some clues, uh, you can find it, you can actually see it on Google Satellite uh, and you kind of have to look for this. Uh, it's near the river, basically. That's all I'm gonna say, because it, it, honestly it's pretty easy to find. It's on a big building. Uh, all right, so that's it for Charleroi. We go on with uh, in uh, two in Antwerp, so Anvers, and those two uh, only one is active, and it's pretty easy to find. So I'm just gonna tell it, not tell it. So I have one in Anvers, so 110 points because the one that's left is only worth 10 points, but you get. 100 points for a new city so definitely worth checking out uh, and yeah it's, it's in, in, in an area like belgium netherlands and stuff uh, north of france there's a whole bunch of invaders in that area so definitely worth going around those parts if you're hunting invaders uh, after uh, antwerp i'm just gonna go to the next one uh, in terms of volumes, we have Redu. So Redu is a pretty specific place. Uh, the artist has done collaboration with uh, European uh, space research centers and Redu is one of them. Basically, there is a space research centers with like they have like device that enables them to communicate with satellites and everything that's in space and stuff and so he has put some invaders in there so there's one in the village pretty easy to find there's one at the entrance of the space center that you can get also pretty easily there's the third one that is inside the space center but that you can flash from outside the three others you have to get inside the space center. So not actually inside the building, but inside the private part where they have those things, those satellite communicating thing. So basically I didn't know that when I went there, so I was not able to flash it. So I still have three of them. I think they're like most of them are actually hundred points. So I have like three more hundred points to get in Redu. But the trick is that you have to go there on a Friday and book an appointment for the guard to give you a tour of the facility to flash it. Right now it's COVID. Last year was COVID too. I contacted them and I'm like, sorry, obviously no tour. Uh, for that so yeah that's a bit of a bummer but hopefully maybe this summer I'll try to go with a friend uh, yeah maybe try to go with someone else if you're just on your own there might be like oh like just doing the tour for one one person at a time is a bit 
annoying, but I, I've, I've heard they're pretty cool about it. Basically, there's some emails that hang around on uh, Invader Spotter that you can find. And yeah, you just contact that email, ask them uh, when it's possible to do the visits. As I said, it's mostly on Fridays. Uh, I think even Fridays afternoon or something like that, you know, not, not too late too. So yeah, uh, that's the way to do it the proper way without, you know, uh, violating not even private property, but violating the government property, which can be pretty bad if you get caught. So I wouldn't advise it to even try to get in because uh, those, those matters are pretty sensitive. Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna end it for like the three small Belgian parts and I'm just gonna do another video about Brussels because there's probably a little bit more to say about Brussels and I don't want this video to be too big. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.